Ungrateful mutt. I fed you yesterday. What are we gonna do with this thing anyway? I told you. We're gonna sell them. To who? I don't know. It was your master plan to get them anyway. Well, now I'm sick of them. Why don't you return him and get the reward money? Who's there? Banjo Cunningham, you dingbat. Don't you know the voice of the neighbor you've had for seven years? Jimmy, that you? Well, who else would it be? Your voice sounds different. Well, Banjo, when a boy reaches a certain age, testosterone kicks in and his voice starts to change. You follow me? Well, if that's so, ain't your voice supposed to be deeper? Barry, do I need to come out there and give you a personal education in health, or lack thereof? No, Jimmy. That's what I thought. What you doing out here? I'm squatting next to a tree. What do you think I am doing? As I was saying, there's a reward for that missing dog. I saw a poster on an oak tree about 100 feet west of here. If you call the number on the poster, you can get $50. You sure? As sure as I'm sitting here. Thanks for the tip, Jimmy. We'll leave you to it. Sometimes it's just too easy. I know you may be afraid of the dark, little buddy, but it's for your own protection. That's Kid West. I didn't think her little heart was ever going to mend if we couldn't get him back. Thank you, Kid West. Just doing my duty, ma'am. We'll miss you around here. Ben? Sorry I'm late. What is that silly thing still doing on your head? Where do you want to start? Just some extra income. Every little bit helps. Where'd you get it? From the Edwards family. Take it back. Go on now. Aren't you forgetting something? Spit an image, I'd say. Hardly. I wasn't talking about you. Try to blend into your new neighborhood, young lady. There are no cowgirls in Minnesota. Not yet. I'll be in touch. Mm. 
Any, uh, progress? Not yet. But if my calculations are correct, we're right on top of where it used to be. Okay. Something wrong? Well, it's just that no one's ever tried to... dig this up before. Time stations actually played music. Through the rain, through the storm, through the fear, battering scorn. Every Better get some sleep, sweetheart, okay? I know there's been a lot of rumors about what this find actually means, but can you give us the historical significance of what was found? Well, first of all, it's important to differentiate between folklore and fact. A lot of people will misconstrue this as some sort of ghost story that's returned to haunt them. But as a matter of history, it's quite remarkable that Walter Smith's personal life has... Hey. Isn't this it? Uh-huh. Small population. They're probably all eating breakfast. What do you think? Well, it has character. I'll give it that. That's one way to put it. Listen, my hours are gonna be pretty full at the hospital, so that means you're gonna have to take care of yourself most of the time. Oh, I can handle it. What I'm saying is, don't you go looking for trouble. What if it comes looking for me? Then hide. Morning. That your truck out there? Uh-huh. Well, I just received a report that it's a stolen vehicle. I beg your pardon? <laughs> just kidding you. I'm Sheriff Badger. Just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood. Well, thank you. I'm Faye Cooper, and this is Harper. Hello, little lady. My daddy was a sheriff. Is that right? He died in the line of duty. Harper. I'm very sorry to hear that. That's okay. He was a hero. They called him Sheriff West. He also... Well, thank you for stopping by. We sure do appreciate it. Uh, of course, I'll uh, leave you to settle in. But if you two need anything at all, you let me know. Welcome to the neighborhood. You shouldn't say things like that to strangers.
nice bike. You new around here? My mom and I just got in yesterday. Name's Kid West. Your first name is Kid? What happens when you grow up? Haven't you ever heard of a nickname? Not really a nickname person. People just call me Angie. You're gonna need a faster bike in this neighborhood. My bike is plenty fast. You want to race? Sure. You want to lose? Talk is cheap, miss. I don't like nicknames. Count of three. One. Two. Three. Hey, wait, where's the finish line? to ride in my streets. Don't you know the rules? Let me guess. You're the rule makers? Right. First rule is that only kids in our gang can ride on the street. Unless they get permission from you? You're catching on. I'm guessing that permission costs something. You're smarter than you look, cowgirl. Time to pay your daily fee. You gonna charge that other girl the same thing? You mean Pocahontas? She's my girlfriend. She gets a free pass. How romantic. She part of your gang too? Not yet, but she'll come around. What happens if someone doesn't pay their daily fee? They get taught a lesson. Don't you move, cow pie. <laughs> Hold on there, Axel. Not bad for a girl. Make you a deal. Do us enough favors, you could ride these streets all you want. I'm sure you don't give many offers like that. Like I said, you're smarter than you look. I'll pass. Big mistake. Better watch out, cowgirl. You and your family. Friendly neighborhood. Colorful. So how was your first day? Oh, it was okay. A few nurses in another unit were let go. They were fired? No, it was just a low census. When the hospital doesn't have enough patients in a particular unit, the hospital has to let people go sometimes. Would this ever happen to someone in your unit? Well, the thing is... Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah. I wish. Well, it's not very good. Now we go live to Tracy Storm, who is outside the museum. Tracy, what can you tell us? Well, Erica, the key that was discovered just a few days ago was stolen here last night. The key is believed to have once belonged to Walter Smith, the legendary tycoon who died in a house fire in 1855. The archaeologist who led the excavation is offering a $5,000 reward for its return. No, it's not good. I don't think it'll last more than a couple of weeks.
Can I help you? I appreciate that, but I think I can manage. I'm quite certain your people were already here. Are you sure another crime scene investigation is really necessary? I'm not exactly with the police, sir. You don't say. Based on my initial findings, I'd say whoever committed this crime wasn't much taller than I am. And how would you know that? I know things about short people. I see. What do you know about the stolen key? Uh, just what I've heard on the news. Why would somebody want this key so badly? Well, it depends what it unlocks. Any ideas? My theory is it has something to do with Walter Smith's hidden collectibles. We were digging around where his mansion used to be, and some people believe we should have left it all alone. Why is that? According to urban legend, he was cursed. Well, this is a nice surprise. What brings you out here? I'm investigating the burglary. May I ask you a couple of questions? That's usually my line. But it sounds better coming from you. What do you know about Walter Smith? Ooh, fair amount, I'd say. He was a great man. He did a lot for his community in the mid-1800s, including his Ojibwe neighbors, which wasn't a very popular stance back then. But he uh, did a lot of trading with them. Valuable sort of stuff. And all the valuables he traded were lost in the fire, correct? That's right. Unless... Unless he had a separate place where he kept his collectibles. I see you've done your homework. And if there were such a place, those collectibles would be worth quite a bit. Any suspects? <laughs> as much as I appreciate your enthusiasm, I can't talk about an ongoing investigation. Sure you can. From one officer of the law to another. Excuse me? My daddy made me an honorary deputy. Off the record, then. I'm not the press. Well, the short answer is no, but I have a theory. My guess is that anyone going after those collectibles thinks they have some sort of claim on them. Like a descendant or something? Well, that's a good thought, but no one knows what happened to old Walter's offspring. Then who else would think they have some sort of claim? The culture that traded with him? You think whoever stole the key was Ojibwe? Well, that wouldn't be very popular with the Ojibwe community in town, but that's my theory. Seems like the only working one we have. You seem pretty anxious about something. Thanks for the help, Sheriff. Gotta run. What are you doing? Uh, Kid West on official duty. You're in big trouble. I think you're the one going to be in big trouble. Oh, yeah? When my uncle sees you messing with his plants. You matched the description of the thief. This would go a lot easier for you if you confessed right now. Oh, really? Yeah. You want me to make a confession? That's right. Okay. I confess that you're a terrible detective and your bike sucks. The guilty always try to change the subject. Are we done? For now. <sighs> What's wrong? I'm late for work. You've been late before. I've never seen you this upset about it. Is that so? Did you take your father's wedding ring out of my dresser? No, why? I can't find it. I have a long shift today, so I won't be home for dinner. There's leftover lamb chops in the fridge. Just do me a favor. the house. 
house today, okay? subtle approach. Sometimes it's not about force, boys. It's about fear. We gave him a good scare, though, didn't we? Just wait till school starts. Then we'll really give it to him. How much do you think we'll get for that? I don't know. Not much. Piece of junk. Easy there, Mucus. What do we do next? Wait for further instruction. Is it true what the old man said that the treasure or whatever it is has some sort of power? Come on, I want to beat you guys again in zombies. Why don't you be the zombie this time? I told you, that's not the avatar I prefer. I'm down for another game. Fine. Zombie Pandemonium 3. Ah! Yeah! Hear that? Oh. Hey, what is going on? Let me guess. Your stupid dad didn't pay the electrical bill again. Shut up. There's other stuff we can do. Like what? Let's go blow up a watermelon with firecrackers. Now that is a good idea. There's some fireworks in the bathroom. What's wrong with mucus? I'm not. 
told you, I'm not going in there. Don't tell me you're scared. Nice try, ladies. Now give me the key. Go fetch. You're a real piece of work, Pocahontas. Even after all I've done for you. That's not my name. Brayden, if you try to wrangle us, you have another thing coming. Big talk coming from a cowgirl with no rope. if you didn't get us caught. Me? It was my idea to get the key. Should have never tipped you off. The only thing that got us caught was that ancient bike of yours. Ugh, if I had a dollar for every time you mentioned my bike, I wouldn't even need the reward money. Let's just try to get free. As usual, I'm way ahead of you. There's more important things than money, you know. It's not like that. I'm providing for my family. Isn't that supposed to be your mom's job? <sighs> Forget it. Aren't you gonna go get your bike? Ugh! Forget my bike. You're right. It's too slow for this stupid town. Where were you? I was out for a walk. At one o'clock in the morning? What were you doing out there? Sorry. Stop apologizing and start listening to me. If you knew what I was doing and why, you wouldn't get so mad. You know what? I don't care what you were doing out there. I have to go to work in a few hours, stay up all night, Blast some music, have a whole damn rodeo in here if you want to. Just stay inside the house. I can't promise that. I'm right in the middle of something that's really important. I can't take this anymore. Why can't you understand what I'm supposed to do? Oh, for God's sake, would you give this deputy stuff a rest? Daddy never gave it a rest. You're not your father! Well, hey there. Your mom around? Nope. Must be at work then. Story of her life. I'm surprised you're not out solving a mystery. I'm grounded. I see. You seem more fragrant today, Sheriff. Beg your pardon? You stink. Oh, right. Well, some habits are hard to break. Haven't you ever tried the patch? Didn't take. You want to 
tell me all about it. I found the key. What? I found it, and then I lost it again. It's that Braden kid and his friends, if you can call them that. Oh, yeah, I know about them. They're, they're troublemakers for sure, but I don't see them as criminals. You don't believe me? Well, Braden doesn't have much of a father. I suppose it's possible for a kid to do anything if he doesn't have the right role model. I'll tell you what, I'll look into it. If they stole that key, I'll get you the reward money. How's that sound? Why would you do that? Well, I'd do anything for an honorary deputy. I don't know. I thought this was something I could deal with, but maybe that's just not realistic. Can you get that? Well, it's not like I have a couple thousand dollars lying around. The door, please! Good evening. Did you find it? Well, that's what I came to tell you. I'm, uh... Mama, come here! I'll call you back. The sheriff found the missing key that was on the news. What are you talking about? Can I see it? Well, uh, you didn't let me finish. I'm afraid they don't have it. I don't understand. Well, everybody makes mistakes. Now, there was no key at that house or anywhere around it. Besides, I don't think those kids are clever enough to pull off a caper like that. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, it's no trouble. I'll let you know of any further developments. Off the record, of course. Can that be the end of this? Well now, seems like having friends in high places isn't everything you thought it would be. You may have fooled the sheriff, but you can't fool me. I don't have to. Think I'm tough now? Just wait till you see what this unlocks. Enjoy your book. brag I'm not in the mood. You didn't answer my question. It's amazing, okay? Now would you please just leave me alone? Suit yourself. I just came by to drop it off anyway. What? Say hello to your new bike. Really? I felt bad about the other night, even though technically it wasn't my fault. I thought this might make up for it. See you around. Wait a second. What are you up to tonight? Why? Plan for an all-night meeting. <laughs> Doesn't this ruin your braces or something? It could, but I only chew with my lower teeth. Smart. So why don't you like nicknames? We don't need them. We should be proud of the names we're given. I guess that makes sense. Aren't you proud of your name? 
It means one who plays the harp. Would you be? Still, your father gave it to you. My mom. Tell you what, you can call me Little Sky. I thought you hated nicknames. I do. Then why are you letting me call you Little Sky? Because it's my last name. Hmm. You gonna be sticking around here? I hope so. What does that mean? My mom has a new job, but I don't think it's gonna last. Well, in the meantime, I need to show you something. I'm sure by now you've probably heard about Walter Smith. Yeah, that old community do-gooder. Where'd you hear that? A friend? Your friend needs a history lesson. Walter Smith traded a lot with the Ojibwe, but one day he falsely accused three Ojibwe men of stealing from him. What happened to them? This is my ancestor. He was a powerful Ojibwe medicine man. What does that mean? He had certain gifts that connected him to the spiritual world. It sort of runs in the family. Anyway, he knew that Smith was a collector. So he made this staff as a peace offering. Being the greedy man that he was, Smith foolishly accepted the gift. What do you mean? My ancestor put a terrible curse on the staff. The day Smith accepted it, his mansion burned down and he died in the fire. What happened to the staff? Well, before he died, Smith put it in his hidden cavern. My ancestor found its location, and my family has been trying to keep it hidden for all these years. This staff has to be destroyed. If anyone finds it, the curse will come back. You think curses exist? I know they do. Ah! Lights out was five minutes ago. Aw, oh, come on, we're camping out! The lights out rule applies if you're inside or out. Besides, being that you're still grounded, you should be grateful I'm letting you have a friend's day over. Oh yes, thank you for letting me stay the night, Mrs. Kid West. I mean, Mrs. Cooper. We need to come up with a game plan to storm Braden's house. Again. But technically, you're still grounded. Technically, I'll be hanging out with you, of which I have permission. Technically, we have permission to be in this tent. Technically, we'll just fold up the tent and bring it with us. Technically, I don't think that works. Technically, we have a curse on our hands. Good point. And no flashlights either. This time we'll do it right. My mom won't be back for an hour or two. That should give us plenty of time. Hey, I'm home early. Hello? Harper? Afternoon. Oh! <gasps> Didn't mean to startle you. I just felt obligated to drop by and mention that Harper's been hanging out with a certain Angela Little Sky. Yeah, Angie stayed over last night. Did she? Is that a problem? Well, it's just that her Uncle Jeremiah is a bit of a f troublemaker. He spent six months in county a few years back. Okay, well, sounds like he paid his debt to society. But I bet you want to know what he did. Has he harmed any children? No, nah, nothing like that. Has he been in trouble with the law since his arrest? <laughs> well, no, but... Then it sounds like none of my business. Yeah, well, be that as it may, I stopped by his house and he accused Braden Myers of stealing that key from the museum. Is that the same boy Harper accused of stealing that key? Yep. I told Jeremiah the same thing I told you. It was the wrong key. 
thought you said you didn't find any key. Anyway, I'm sure uh, you're smart enough to choose the right company for your daughter. I just hope you do it sooner than later. Oh, uh, before I go, my truck's been leaking. I can't seem to find out where. Would you happen to have a rag I could borrow? Will this do? Perfect. Oh, good boy. Don't tell me you're gonna drug him again. No, he just needed a little snack. Well, I can't say you're unprepared. I knew you'd come around eventually. Why don't you come over here and give me a nice juicy kiss? How much juice would you prefer? As much as you got. Okay. tell you these things are dangerous? Let's go destroy us a cursed staff. My mom's home early. What's the sheriff doing at your house? I don't know. Maybe he can give us a ride. Good afternoon, Harper. Angela. Sheriff, we need your help. We found the key. And this. Raiden must have hidden it from you. It happens to the best of us. So the staff is there. How do you know about the staff? You know... No one ever knew what happened to old Walter Smith's descendants. Except, of course, his descendants. You? You're a smart one, Harper. Don't go after that staff, Sheriff. <laughs> Says the expert. You people think you're so wise, but you can barely even survive. I'll say this for you, though. You know how to hold a grudge. But even there, I have you beat. Your ancestor cursed my family, and now I'm gonna curse yours. Mom! Ugh. Like I told you, boy, your grandpa knows what he's doing. Grandpa? You three are under arrest for the theft of this key. No need for the grim faces, ladies. As soon as we get the staff, we'll come right back and upgrade you to a nice, comfortable jail cell. If I wasn't a young lady with manners, I'd say you deserve to be cursed. You got the legend all wrong, cowgirl. It's not evil the staff brings. It's power. Guess it wasn't meant to be, Pocahontas. In your dreams. Well, Harper, I'm disappointed in my honorary deputy. You helped me out, but you broke the law to do it. Now your mom's gonna lose her job and the house too, but don't worry, I'm sure she can write to you from prison.
Come on, mucus. Game of musical chairs. They're at least five minutes ahead of us. Hopefully, we can catch up to them. Come with us. When the time is right, remember your gifts. Do not leave her side. the door. Well now, looks like you ladies grew some wings. You're gonna need them again. Time for lunch, boy. Hey there, handsome. Get him, stupid dog! Get him!
Let me have it. Just like you promised. All in good time, boy. I wouldn't touch that staff! If I were you, I'd get out of here while you still can, cowgirl. Who told you the staff would give you power, Brayden? Someone I trust. Did he tell you what he was going to use it for? Say goodbye to your girlfriend. What? What's she talking about? Uh, you wouldn't understand. I had high hopes for you, but it turns out you're a disappointment just like your father. We're gonna lose our house again, aren't we? Why would you think that? I heard you on the phone. We can't afford it. You thought I was talking about my job. Weren't you? Oh, sweetheart. I was talking about your daddy's truck. It's on its last legs and I can't afford to fix it. So we don't have to move? I'm sorry. For what? For trying to do your job. I trust you. It's just... But not like you trusted him. It's alright, you're in good company.
like your truck back there. 95. Hmm. Looks like it needs a little work. Looks like it. I know a place that offers a good deal. Oh, I appreciate it, but we couldn't afford it. He said he knows a place. Through the rain, through the storm, through defeat or battering scorn. Every hope and every doubt, you'll always be my girl. Come on inside, Jeremiah. I'll fix you something to eat. Thought you'd be in jail. Got off with a warning. Helped out with the investigation. You mean you sold out your grandpa and your friends? I'm no rat. I'm just a pragmatist. You don't even know what that word means. Do too. Got something for you, cowgirl. I, uh, found that lying around. <clears throat> Better watch out, cowgirl. I still own this neighborhood. You too. Angie? Are you Kid West? Sure am, is everything all right? You wouldn't believe it, but over at the junior high field, a whole swarm of bullies stopped our fun-loving game one-hand touch football. What do they want? Well, you see, they've turned one of the goalposts into a giant slingshot, and they've threatened to launch my friends one by one until we've surrendered the field. How many bullies? 45 at least. We're on it. Forty-five bullies could be our biggest battle ever. I don't know, little Sky. The summer's not over yet. Forever right here, forever right now, forever.